first and foremost, it's definitely an honor that caught me by surprise. It means a lot to me because I did not know that I was going to become a cosmetologist. I had no clue what I was supposed to do in life, but um, I believe now I'm acting in a purpose and it's paid off with the nomination from the Bella Awards. Uh, working in the beauty industry as a woman, first and foremost, it teaches you patience. Um, Sometimes um, a woman in today's society, we are so in tune with controlling things. When you are in a beauty industry, you have to let your client, in a sense, take control because they are taking you on the ride. Um, but at the end of it all, it is definitely a reward to be able to help other women, men and children, feel good about themselves. Becoming an educator after, when I left North Hills, um, one of my students in Ama, Baltimore, I'll mention her, um, she presented me with a plaque and it was a poem that I used to read every day and the poem was called I Promise Myself, an author unknown. But there were some very poignant points in there that I thought the students needed to hear. So at the end of it, they, they made the poem I Promise Ms. D. And because of that poem, I really felt at that moment when they all recited it in unison, and some of them without even reading a paper, that I had truly, like Reverend Clay had said, found my purpose and I was acting in it because as a nominee for the Bella Awards, as a successful educator within Empire that has 110 schools and there's little old me to be as an impactful as I have found that I, have, I am in Pittsburgh, it is truly an honor to act in my purpose and I know success is only just beginning. Um, I'm in charge of running the salon for having basically a consultation with each of the clients and the students that come in. Um, at any given moment you could be called for a chemical, a color, a cut, a braid, extension. So with that being said, you definitely have to be um, adaptable. She inspires me. Well, first, she always comes in with a new website for me to check out, you know, always new cuts, new styles. She makes me want to know how to do things on my own. Like, sometimes whenever I first started on the floor, I used to always ask her for help, but she makes me want to be independent and learn because I used to really watch her, and she just, like, everything flows, and she teaches me. She's so versatile, and she just makes me want to be a better seller. I think my sense of style probably comes way back from my great-grandmother um, even though her she was a stylish Sunday dresser <laughs> um, she always thought about how she looked how other people would take her um, she wanted to portray a certain image and then coming into the beauty industry as an instructor as a whole you have to practice what you preach so if you put your best foot forward um, and you are impactful in that from the way you dress to the way you do your hair to the way you speak, your students are impacted. 